All right, guys, I just got back from the city. This is some of my materials that I'm gonna use for my worms. Also got some dried molasses, dry kelp, and I was supposed to get some humic acid for some compost tea. But I was buying it by the five pound bags and paying double the price. So I went ahead and started getting it by the 50 pound bags. Saves me trips, also saves me money. And about to mix up all these amendments in a 50 gallon tub. So I will be stocked up on some worm food. All right, you guys may be wondering what's in these bags, but this is some premium worm food right here. And you don't see very many people that's feeding their worms these amendments like this. A lot of people is just feeding them green waste. I see some people that have some amendments that kind of sprinkle them on top, but you have to be real careful with these amendments because they will heat up your worm beds. So you gotta be cautious on how you use it, but you can top dress your bins, but you wanna be careful that you don't use too much, but every so often just keep on adding it to your bins. So I feed my worms uh, green waste, but I also feed them uh, these dry amendments. And these dry amendments are gonna be in your castings whenever you get ready to harvest and it's going to give you some of the best castings that you can possibly get. So whenever you're making castings like this, this is some premium castings. It's kind of hard to sell your castings for a dollar a pound because I got $419 just in this stuff right here, which not all of this is going to my worms. A lot of this is gonna go into my wicking tubs and some of the five gallons and 20 gallon pots that I got. And also got some three gallon pots that I'm gonna grow some pepper plants and start selling peppers this year. But this right here is 25 pounds of alfalfa meal. I actually got 50 pounds of it. This here is 50 pounds of crab meal. I got 44 pounds of neem seed meal. This is 150 pounds of gypsum. I got 50 pounds of kelp meal. And then I got 50 pounds of oyster shell. There's another, I got two bags of kelp meal, 25 and 25, so 50 pounds all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up into a 50 gallon tote. And whenever I get ready, I also got some biochar, I'm add some biochar in, not with this, but I'll add it on top of the soil. It's what I'm gonna roll with. This is what makes my castings such a premium castings that are hold a lot more value because, I mean, you have all these dry amendments and these dry amendments, they're not cheap. All right, now it's time to go ahead and put all these amendments in this 50 gallon tub. And while you're doing this, you wanna be sure and wear a mask because you don't wanna breathe this stuff in. Uh, it's it's a lot of dust is going to be coming out and you know it's kind of bad to breathe in so go ahead and wear your mask and it's time to get to it alfalfa meal crab meal kelp meal Oyster shell. It's my first time and it's looking like a 50 gallon tote might not be enough. Gonna be cutting it close. Need seed meal. Gypsum. All right, I'm all the way to the top. Should have had a bigger tote, but that'll work. I'm go ahead and mix this stuff up. You want to dig all the way down to the bottom. 
and just come up with it. As you can see, it's starting to mix up. I still got a lot more work to do. You see those little pockets that I just hit? That crab meal and that, that alfalfa. I can feel a lot of alfalfa still down here at the bottom. All right guys, I got this mixed up and it was some work. I'm stocked up. Should have got something bigger than this 50 gallon tub, but it'll do for now. So that's it. It's my dry amendment food mix for the worms. And like I said, that's going to last a long time, but it's cheaper to buy it in bulk. Well, I got some bananas and go ahead and add them. To bin number two. As you can see these worms are doing so good. Let you check that out. Gosh. That's a banana right there. I'm tearing it up. So I'm go ahead and put a few more bananas down. Just cover this back up. I've been feeding some apples on this side. been tearing it up apples on one side bananas on the other seem like I got a lot more worms on the bananas go ahead and put some dry amendments down as you can see there's just a little bit of dry amendments right here but I don't see very much but I don't see very much a little bit right in there you can see the dry amendments all right so this is how I feed my worms get just about half a cup and about a week ago I did this and as you can see all the dry amendments are already gone so you don't want to get real heavy with it you just want to kind of dust the top A little bit of dust on top. A little bit of biochar. Put the leaves back. Call it good. The leaves have a little bit of moisture. So let that stuff kind of soak in. And about a week, two weeks, you come back and all that should be already gone.